Y'all, them catfish, they're getting after it. Y'all think if I went up that creek and caught me one of them shiner, I might could hook up. I'd be out here like Shiner Sam. Well, there's a couple of them in there that make good fish bait. Might catch a flathead with some of them. Oh my Shout out to anybody struggling with anything. Well, just go buy you a couple chickens. And if you can't do that, I understand everybody ain't able. Go out there and try to catch you some. Well, Marquise, we were trying to get in and out. And, uh, well, we ran into old JT, old Johnny Terry here. He wanted to give us a run down in this truck. Strong truck. Well, I wonder if he can take this thing out to my place and hook up to the bottom of that old cellar bar in there and snatch it off and keep going. All I got is this beat up leather bag. And everything I own don't fill up pad. I'm talking about cattle in the backyard country. Y'all, old soul train right there in old Tom Brady. Well, they put a pot knot on that rooster's head up under there big enough to high center a Jeep. And he ain't coming out. Let's go get him. Wide open. Country style. Well, Maria's been the MVP this week. She's having to back it up. And, uh, we got the boys and such with her. We're gonna try to get us some shavings. Maybe a bag of shavings, a couple of bags of feed. We're gonna get some of this commodity mix along with the Midwestern sweet mix as well. And, uh, yeah. Let's see about getting these guys fed up. Come on, let's get one of these shaving. Y'all go over and get one of them shaving. Huh. Not that one. This one right here. Yep, that one right there. It's right. Yeah, put it on mama's car. Hi. Oh. 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 Looks like y'all better bring them up out of there. Oh. There you go. That's a good strategy. Come on around here with us. Well, are y'all making more noise or lifting? Which one y'all doing? Come on, get him up. Okay. <laughs> Can you get it up there? Hey. Skyler, I think they need you, baby. No, what? No, no. 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 All right, he said, God, let him have it. Let him have it. No. He said he don't need you. He said he's stronger than the last soap. He don't need any help with it. Oh, oh he got it up there. Good job, guys. Good job. Let's head on out of here. I just whooped him, girl. Yeah, you whooped him. He loaded up the food here, and we're taking a look at the ride collection of turkeys they got. They got just about every breed of turkey we see here. Gold turkey, black turkey, well, with the white faces on and stuff. I'm going to take some time to tell y'all. Well, God don't sleep. Then you're worth it. So don't let up and sit on them spots. Get around to the other side so here and see if Maria see the thing she wants to take on with her. We got some white turkeys. Oh, I want this guy. Look at him. What kind? Do you like that guy? Oh, game yep. birds. That's turkeys, geese. Yeah. Huh? We ought to get us three or four of them, take them home, and start oh. reproducing them on our own. Country style. And do not look at any of that dead chickens there. Dead chickens? Yeah. Oh, that's fresh coonie bait there, guys. We can drop them guys to the bottom. And uh, y'all reckon they'll get them dead turkeys out that trash and put them in that box and we'll take them home and feed them to our pigs. We don't waste nothing, guys. We don't waste nothing. Y'all ready to go see Marquis? Yep. Yeah. And his buff orphans. He said he built a new cage with buff orphans. Ooh, I want to see. I want to see. Are they chicks? We, he said the chicks, yeah. Oh, We're gonna yeah. go check that thing out. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna get <laughs> We might find, see if we can find that old orange bucket, take it with us again. What y'all think? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna get this Hope you to watch the video that we're going camping at. He better been watching it. What else? Or what else? else? What else? We steal your axe.
That's right. Nice. We will. Still all his eggs. <laughs> We'll give it back if you watch the video and it, subscribe. Oh, you'll take his eggs hostage. And if he don't watch the video, we'll keep we'll his keep eggs. It. But if he does watch the video, well. We'll give him back. We'll return them things. <laughs> I ain't returning that bucket. When we get over here, you got that bucket. I'm carrying it on. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> you got bugles. Oh. Make sure eat your bugles. Oh, my God. In the end. And the grocery store crazy. <laughs> I can't call to that one. Oh, uh, what you want you looking at? Hmm. This one. Yeah, this is about ten dollars. All of them here are roughly about ten to fifteen dollars. Y'all think we need some, or y'all think when we get to Marquise's house, we can just take his? Take his. That's a take good idea. <laughs> That's a good idea. Too. That's all all the country oh, boy yeah. need is a good old pack of zip ties. Well, they get a lot done with. Them. <laughs> Especially these. The big ones. Yeah, especially those. Do our cookies have a boat or you don't have a boat? Oh. Well, what you think? You think we ought to hook up to it? We can hook that Tahoe up to it and, and uh, put, put some baits down. What you think? Mm, put the bait down. Let's go look at it. Well, CJ and I were coming up with a way to try to get this thing hooked up. Well, to that old Tahoe out there. And, uh, well, with that being said, I don't have a key to this lock. Well, and I don't have no lock cutters to cut that thing off, or else I'd hook it up right now and drag it on down to Port St. Lucie. Woo. You know, well, just wear out the small mouse country style, of course. Plenty of room on this guy here, and uh, well, I hope that motor don't swamp nobody out there while we out there trying to wear them guys out. Nice Minn Kota set up on here. If you remember, if you look back in your archive, across the creek archive, you find those video where uh, me and Marquise, we took the boat out one time and well, we wore out them blues and channel catfish. We probably caught 50 or 60 catfish out there and all. And uh, with that being said, well, I think his plan is really to do more the same with this guy. Daddy, don't forget, we have to look for an orange bucket. That's right. When we find it, we carry it on with us. Let's go uh -huh. check over this way. It might be over here behind this old shed. No, she looks kind of like her daddy. She looks like her daddy. got this good looks and good hair kind of like me. She got an attitude like her mama. He said she got an attitude like her mama. Well, we in here visiting with this tree out here. Well, over at Sticks Glue and Visions place. And nice game tree out here that we're going to try to, well, repopulate. <laughs> Sound like he said, get out of there. He's done visiting when you was watching this thing. Woo. <laughs> Country style. I'm a little more country over here, man. We stopped in the area here. We wanted to film. Well, the Buck Warpton set up. He's got going. Uh, everything looks good. We've got good lighting in here. Uh, plenty of space. Very unique, crafty setup. And, uh, well, I think it's going to keep used Buck Warpton safe for another day or so. You guys in there doing very well. Got heat plugged in the corner there. Automatic waterers, automatic feeders. We're talking about homestead. Regenerative hobby style, hobby farm on this one. Looking good. Let's get these eggs dropped off so we can get them guys incubated and uh, we'll head on out of here. We appreciate you guys coming with us over. Check out our Buff Orpton set up with my brother and all. And we made it back out across the creek and uh, well, looks like we're celebrating more new life again today. Uh, that old Hoover Bader is just popping them out of there. But uh, we're gonna get these guys moved around. I turned this thing back on because, well, you guys know on hatch day, well, what we do on the channel is we get all over the eggs that didn't hatch and well, we make us no slop them hog but You guys gotta excuse that TV. I've been watching hockey. It's coming up on Stanley Cup time and, uh, well, I'm sitting here rooting old Ovechkin on. Well, since we done made it back cross, well, I'm out here like shirtless Jake and Maria's getting tired of working. I'm working the dog snot out of her. Let's head on back. Well, I showed y'all the new life we were creating across the creek. And uh, fortunately, I showed you where we were working the heck out of Maria, too. Y'all, I'm kind of enjoying this life. I can just sit around and just, Maria! And she just comes a-running. She got to do all the farm chores. Uh, it's certainly like shirtless Jake or something. Certainly convenient. But we're going to get these eggs uh, cracked off in here. And we're going to get this mixed up and add some corn to it. 
And uh, well, I will go get the egg now, but my legs is a little tired. Maria, bring those rotten eggs out that incubator. All right, here I come. Yeah, this never gets old. All right, guys, we're gonna start our first egg in our game of ready or not. Well, that didn't seem like ready. Let's bust him open and see what he's looking like. Yeah, we got us an old white chicken in there. Uh, Looked like it would have been a beautiful hat had we had us a decent enough incubator to finish him up. Let's get the next one. Not. Well, let's bust him open. Yeah, we'll blame that on the incubator too. Well, it looks like it's gonna be the case on all these guys. Looks like as we continue to go on, I'm getting a little more frustrated, a little more uh, PO'd about what's taking place here. But the collard green may be getting more excited. Looks like they're gonna have a lot of chicken protein eat tonight. Let's go ahead and get all these cracked up. We'll check back with y'all. All right, guys, as I figured, every one of those eggs there were fertilized. We had an issue, I guess, with the incubator and the temperature and the humidity and all. But, uh, well, it worked out in best favor for the pigs. We're going to get this corn poured over in there. And give it a good little mix for it all. And, uh, if y'all stay tuned, y'all get to see Maria slop them hogs today. Well, I was over there making that old famous pig slop, that old Cross the Creek special. But that old pig there say, well, since this old chicken here didn't make it, we'll just take the corn up out of his stomach. Y'all ain't kidding. They never, they're literally taking the corn out of the stomach of this old bird here. Uh, well, the cold snap last night, 37 degrees up our way. And, uh, well, the guys there say they've been waiting on a nice piece of Tyson leg quarter. Ooh. Let me get back over here. We're getting that flop all mixed up. We're going to get it carried over to the pigs. Come on with us. There we go. We're getting them guys flop. And they're going to enjoy the rest of them guys there that didn't hatch off. Well, you guys saw the slop of hogs, and well, since, well, we ain't feeding on these old goats and all, and uh, well, they don't seem grateful much at all. Me and Maria's just been out here working hard and slaving, trying to get these guys fed up, and well, that black one right there just does nothing but horns us every time we turn our back. Spent a lot of time in the garbage can, fighting over food with the garbage man. Yeah, wishing well. Y'all old take and pell them one, two, three, say. This is the first time she's been down off that roost and ain't nobody bothering her hitting on her now. Well, she don't know if she's still pretty or well. Maybe they've adopted something else that they like. Who knows? Uh, we're real fed these guys up and they're doing well. Uh, we've been struggling and laying eggs and well, we got an old rooster, old egg cracker back there. And, uh, well, once we get to the bottom of that, he'll be delicious. He sure will be. They said they're comfortable right here on this roost. There ain't no need for them to get down. They said, uh, well, it's too much drama when you get down, so we just stay right here. And, uh, well, if we drop any eggs, well, we'll drop them from this distance, and hopefully they don't crack. Like I said, make room. They wearing me out. We're going to have to get that guy out of there, guys. Well, this pen right here is the free-for-all. This is CJ's favorite pen. And, uh, well, the reason being is because it's action-packed. None stop. Well, you guys know what heartache on the dance floor. But old Tom Brady and Soldier in here, well, they've teamed up so well, uh, it's kind of like Chris Jericho and Bret Hart back in the day. A tag team world champions in the world. And, uh, well, they say next on the list is, well, old Shiner up there. And, uh, no, he didn't say Shiner. He said him and Soul Train's gonna break up and they gonna have it out. Well, this is how you can always tell if your wife did the feeding for the day. Uh, I'm grateful either way. Guys, be patient with your ladies. Uh, we back in the old Vegas wholesale, and I wanted to point somebody out to y'all. Uh, let me see if I can run her down. Let's see, where is she? There she is right there. That old black hen there. Well, we had to lock her up. She was in the other cell on that side there, and we brought her over and locked her up. Well... Uh, she's been locked up on paraphernalia, paraphernalia. She has some old worn out corn husk as well. 
I know we didn't feed them to her, so we think she got out and stole them. But uh, she's in here extended stay, uh, maximum security, and uh, whatever happens, happens. And thank y'all for watching. I told Maria, we had to get over here to this pen, y'all. Well, they landed the old smack it down on old RJ Jr. Well, he was dominating this pen for a while, and they started, oh, Tom Brady say, I told y'all I was going to wear somebody out. Y'all, we got to go in here and save this rooster. Well, I think maybe they've initiated them, and uh, they want them out of here and off to the old cell pen. So, uh, hold back on the feed for him. He'll be headed to the cell barn. Sally Mae, you enjoying your lunch today? What about you, Veronica? <coughs> Ida. Ella Marie. Lucy, did you lay your egg yet? Let's see. Well, that's a blessing. Let's get them out of here. Wanted to stop. Ooh. Sorry about that. Ah. Oh. Well, it looks like she might have actually dropped this egg a little too hard. We'll get that one to the pigs and keep looking in here. Go ahead and get the rest. And go see what Chris is doing. Thanks for watching. All right, so we finished up feeding the rest of the animals and we stopped in and we uh started feeding the catfish here. They've been slow biting and all and uh, well, I guess it's because we're spoiling them with the floating pellet and all, but uh, we're grateful for another Sunday. Not sure if you guys are catching this on your morning session or your evening session across the creek. Uh, we've started uploading these things every Sunday, morning and evening, to give you something to watch when you wake up, and well, and give you something to watch when you get ready to close them too. Uh, we thank y'all for coming with us on every one of these episodes here, and uh, whoever you are leaving us the thumbs up, we appreciate and we're grateful for them, and uh, we hope to catch you guys next Sunday. Y'all, that look like hammerhead. I'm going to go get some bait. We said uh, 10 odd in here. Thanks for watching.